uh, we'll see that where the XML file is. For that, just go to your EMG CD folder, whichever version you're using. Browse to the bin folder, and I've sorted it by type. The files are sorted here by type, and you can see these XMLs. You see here cascade i.xml. This cascade file is used for XML file is used for detecting eyes and images, whereas we'll be using this one, frontal face underscore alt underscore tree dot xml for face detection. So what I want you to do is just to copy it and go paste it in the bin folder of the application we're developing right now. So for that, open the Solution Explorer, right click the solution and open folder in Windows Explorer. There we are with our solution files. I go to camera capture into the bin debug and let's just paste it paste it here where we pasted our DLL files earlier. I am pasting it directly here because now the access will be really easy. I just have to copy paste the name and no directory. Whenever a file is in the debug folder of any application, you don't have to provide the whole long path of it in your uh, code. So that's why I've copied it right over here. Now once I've uh, located my file from where I want to use it, now let's just uh, put it into our code. Let's just access it and use it. Okay, so we wanted to go to the load function because when I want the file, the detector to be loaded into the object when this uh, uh, this application starts. So let's just go to the start button. Start and yeah, there it is. Our load capture underscore load function. Okay. Now I've just pasted this code, I've written it beforehand just to not waste time. So what it, I want to do here is actually this. See, adjust the path, path of uh, the hard file, XML file. So right now, you see this over here, this is long path. C, EMG, CV, and this and that, that was the file. This location of file is from the bin folder of the EMG folder itself, but to cut it short, I just wanted to keep it to my debug folder. And another benefit of that will be that when, if uh, that this XML file is removed from this directory, it'll still be, it'll have no effect on my program because my program runs it, no, runs this detector from its own debug folder. So as long as this file stays there, uh, there will be no problems in debugging and running my program. Okay, so the file name was .xml There, this is the name of the file. I hope the syntax and everything is correct. Yes, it is. Okay, now that I've loaded the hard cascade on the event of loading the application, we are ready to use this hard object finally for detection. Okay, remember when. We